Hey guys, it's been a while. Um, I'm filming from my phone. Part of the reason it's been a while is because I'm having some computer issues and I cannot get on the internet with my laptop. So um, the the camera looks a little better, but to me the I don't know my phone kind of has like a fishbowl type of look to it. I think I don't know, but um, I just wanted to do a couple of shares of some really awesome things that I've been meaning to share and I've, that have really made me really excited. Um, so I want to make sure I put those things out there. Both of them are really good. Both of the things I'm going to share are really good for kids with learning challenges, but could be used by anyone, and one of them I'm probably going to end up using uh, myself. Uh, the first one, oh wait, first, um, my latest crochet uh, creation. I got this from Crystal's, um, Crystal Styles Bag a Day. That's the... Um, the same link that I've linked to before, she just has a lot of really great bags. And this right here, if you can see, I, it's really hard to see, but it's just the cutest book bag. And I got, it's hard to really tell because I'm distorting a little bit. Okay, yeah. So I got how to make it on Crystal's Bag a Day. And if you can see, there's like a little drawstring on it. So I put some little glass beads on there. And she shows how to make the straps and everything. I love this thing, and I carry it to my new purse. And I'm probably going to make um, more than one more. Um, I think I'm going to put a lining in the bottom before. It's the only thing I don't like is when I put um, my keys in there. They poke through the bottom. But this is, like, my favorite thing that I've made. And she makes a new bag all the time. And um, this isn't a crochet video, but it's kind of – I just want to share that because I just really love what she does. And um, – She's just a sweet lady, and she homeschools her kids as well. But um, on her free time, she's just she's always thinking about bags that she can create. So when she's done homeschooling and she's done, you know, doing all her chores, like the whole day she's just been thinking up different bag ideas. And she sits down and she's like crocheting like all the time. So anytime you go on, I suggest you subscribe there if you like to crochet, um, or maybe you know someone who does. Maybe you don't like to, but she, you know, maybe you see a pattern that you really like that she does, and you can have them do it for you. Um, but I really enjoy making the things. So, um, yeah, so this is, I use different colors for mine, but um, you don't have to go too far back in the in her videos because this is fairly recent. I think it was a few weeks ago that she put this one up. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to put that up since it's the latest crochet thing that I've done. Um, but, uh and she's a homeschool mom. Uh, but also, the new things that I have uh, found out, first off, uh, a college opportunity for kids with learning challenges, um, or um, some people say um, intellectual disabilities. If you're a child, um, if you're not sure about college options or what any type of of learning after high school that they can do that will broaden their career, their you know, their job options, there is a there are wonderful programs and you go to think college t h i n k think college um, dot net and they will show you where there are programs at universities that are made for kids or students with learning challenges or intellectual disabilities so maybe your kid um, you know they wouldn't qualify for um, for most, or, you know, uh, the other college programs, but they want not only the college experience, but, uh, you know, it's, you know, college isn't really so you can just have fun, but they kind of want that social time to make friends and kind of experience a little bit more independence. But also, the the point of the programs are to broaden, just like any other college program, is to broaden the job opportunities that you can have. And they have internships, and they have peer mentoring, and um, they do take some of the main classes, and they have special tutors, and they work a lot on real-world skills, um, learning how to navigate, you know, like online and how to navigate um, different social situations. And so when they're done, the goal is for them to be able to manage going out there and getting their own um, job, getting uh, started in the work field, and having some experience kind of in the adult world and kind of strengthening um, their social uh, abilities. They have, you know, a lot of help uh, in that area, and the kids that I've seen on the videos uh, for this really love it, um, and it's really been something that has helped them to transition into adulthood. So that's a really great um, opportunity that some of you who have older um, 
older students, <coughs> excuse me, that are going to be leaving, going to be um, leaving high school in a couple of years, you might want to look into it if your child has a um, learning disability or um, uh, what did I just say. Um, intellectual disability. So that that just made me really excited just to know, you know, we're striving for him to make, to, you know, get everything um, in line to where he would qualify for uh, a, a high school diploma, but maybe your kid, maybe there's some things that he can't do or she can't do, and maybe there's some things that they struggle with, but there are still opportunities where they can go and take part in a college program that in the same way a college program would for anyone else, would help them to broaden their ability to get a job. And that's the other thing. Um, with the mentorships and the, um, and the um, internships, they're getting work experience and they're really learning how to kind of navigate that work environment and work on independent living and stuff like that. So um, as well as being able to have that, have that college experience the way that maybe their other siblings might have and um, and to make adult friends, you know, and kind of get more into that area of life. So I just thought that was so exciting. Um, I don't know how to do a, a link from my phone. Um, so I'm just going to say just go to thinkcollege.net and you will be able to see um, where a program like that would be in your area. I think there's three near us. <laughs> So, um, and some of them are dual enrollment, so maybe your kid um, would would qualify for um, a, one of the average programs, but you may want to, and this is something I've thought about, um, you know, you may want to make that part of their high school um, to kind of get them ready to going out into that. So that could be another option is, to, um, you know, if one of the programs near you has a dual enrollment, make that part of their high school program, and that way they'll have a very, uh, a much easier transition into college if that's what, where they're going, or an easier transition into adulthood. So just, again, I, that made me really excited, um, and it made me feel like, you know, no matter what, he's going to be able, um, my students are going to be able to have some sort of a college option that are that's going to actually be beneficial to them it's not just there so they can feel like they're in college it's actually there for you know to help them to find work so um yeah so uh check that out if you're interested uh the other thing is a spanish um program that is online i found i think it's fluencia i i'm i hope i'm spelling it right but if you can't find it go to spanish dict so Spanish, D-I-C-T, like Spanish Dictionary, um, dot com, and uh, go to Learn Spanish. It's up at the top, and there, I think there may be a link down um, in the middle of the page and at the bottom as well. Um, and it's a free program. You get, I think, 10 lessons for free and then – or 10 units for free. And then um, you can uh, pay like six – I think it's six twenty nine. dollars a month for two years if you want to do that program it's really reasonable price um and it my um my student that's 13 year, years old my brother who just had a birthday so now he's 13 um has done the first lesson and he loves it um i did have him watch a spanish video that um was from spanish dick it wasn't from um fluencia and he didn't really like that so much. He doesn't really like the video, but he really did love doing the activity. So the way they teach it is they say things, but you have to like, you have to make the sentence by dragging these little um, word blocks and putting them together to make the sentence. And he really enjoyed doing that. And he finished the first unit. Um, I'm still going to have him do some more um, the work with the pronunciation, but as far as like the vocabulary, he's finished the unit part for that and he really liked it um he remembers what you know what he went over and um it's really interactive so if you have a child who has a learning challenge um or intellectual disability that could be a really good way to help introduce them to a foreign language um i think there's more than spanish there but we just went um with spanish again you get 10 lessons for free and um uh, again, go to SpanishDict.com and just click on the Learn Spanish or Learn whatever language they have up there. It's not hard to find. You just go on the page that's at the top of the page. Um, 
And, uh, you know, check it out. It's, you know, easy and free to sign up. It takes like 10 seconds to sign up.